we would like to give a special thanks to MGA for providing us with this doll. Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Project MC Squared Ember's Lip Gloss. This is the Lip Gloss Experiment, where we get to use science, technology, engineering, art, and math, STEAM. There are simple instructions on the front and on the back of the box. It says Ember Evergreen. With this STEAM Lip Gloss Experiment, Create a fashion reaction when you mix two household ingredients, eyeshadow and coconut oil, to create a stunning, unique lip gloss powder. Coconut oil, it really does come from coconuts, can also be used to bake bread, make pizza crust, or even as a substitute for nuts. Once you've mixed your concoction thoroughly, press it into the makeup compact, Apply some clear lip gloss to your lips, gently dab the lipstick powder on, and check out your new look. Experiment with new fashion reactions by mixing different eyeshadow colors together. Ember Evergreen. It's no secret that Ember has a rock and roll flame burning inside of her. She brings her natural flair to the stage in her faux, obviously, leather jacket with floral print gold screen print denim skirt, and floral rose-colored sunglasses. Going undercover never looks so rock and roll. Let's get this girl out of the box for a closer look. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. You gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Out of the box, Ember is wearing a black faux leather jacket. It has a really nice texture and pictures of flowers all over it. Oh, and there's bugs. Well, you know, I guess where there's flowers, there's bugs. She has on a gold sleeveless top that Velcros in the back, a jean skirt with stitched on details and gold at the bottom, and there is glitter all over the top. She has on a brown decorative belt with a B on the front. It's painted gold, black, and white. She has blue and a soft pink platform shoes with little tiny flowers on the sides. Ooh, and look, they're open toe. She wears gold bumblebee earrings that can be removed. She comes with a pair of rose-colored glasses that have white frames and little flowers in the corners. However, some of the paint may chip off. The front of her hair is pulled up and then the rest is down in the back. And she finishes her look with gold glitter eyeshadow. I just love her freckles. This doll is fully articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, oops, that bends a weird way. There we go. Wrist and knee. I wonder if we can get her to balance and stand. Yay! She comes with a lip palette, lip brush, and comb. I found the instructions. They are between the layers of the box. To do her experiment, it says we need eyeshadow, coconut oil, cornstarch, rubbing alcohol, a bowl, spoons, and oven mitts. So we have to crush the eyeshadow, add the coconut oil and cornstarch, blend it, microwave it, be careful, contents are hot, ask an adult. Hmm, clean the palette with alcohol. Let it sit in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. Ugh, that's a lot. The eyeshadow will give you some pretty colors, but I think we're gonna try our own experiment. I'm using coconut oil, a microwave safe bowl, a spoon, and I found some cocoa powder in the pantry, so let's try that. In my microwave safe bowl, I'm gonna add a little bit of the coconut oil. Now I'm going to heat this in the microwave for a few seconds until completely melted. This took about 10 to 15 seconds. Get a little cocoa powder, add it to the coconut oil, stir until well blended. And I've got chocolatey coconut oil. I like the color, it's a very soft brown. And since I am famous for eating off my lip gloss, I wanna make sure that it is food grade. 
carefully spoon the mixture into one of the molds. So here are a few tips. Make sure to clean the container before using it. It's not fun to have to start all over. And do not overfill the mold. It spills everywhere and makes a mess. Clean your bowl and spoon after each use. Prepare more coconut oil. Now let's try a new flavor. This time, I'm gonna add a drop of peppermint extract. I know a lot of people use peppermint oil, but I don't have that. So let's experiment. I just added a few drops. Now I'm stirring. It smells very minty. Now I spoon it onto the mold. Don't spill. All right, that's enough. And for my last one, I'm taking some lip gloss that is just about empty, and I'm going to add it to the mixture. Hopefully this will give us a little bit of color. I can see a little color. Now I put it into the mold. Carefully move it to the refrigerator. Wait about 15 minutes. I'll finish that blog post in a minute. I'm just gonna grab something out of the fridge. You can't go in there. Not for another 15 minutes. I'm making lip gloss. Then when the time is up, you will have your own custom palette of lip gloss. Everything dried a lot lighter. It's kind of like pastel-y colors. Let's try it out. First, I'm gonna try the chocolate. Not really chocolatey. Probably should have added a little more chocolate. How about the mint? That one pretty much smells like toothpaste. And my pink one is just pink. But I think this is going to look great on my vanity. And since coconut oil melts in warm temperatures, I think it should stay there. Don't want an oily mess in your bag. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Ember's lip gloss experiment. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.